Hello and welcome back to our online course, Building Cost Estimation Simplified. In the previous video, we saw an exercise in taking quantities of different items of a building. And for this, we took the dimensions of the room as the outer dimensions. We can find the volume of any um, part or any object by multiplying the length, breadth and height. And this is uh, applicable for uh, simple shaped objects. So, if we are having a linear boundary wall, uh, then we can straight away find the various quantities by multiplying the length, breadth and height. However, uh, as you may have noticed in the exercise which was discussed in the previous video, when it comes to corners and junctions of a building, we need to take a more accurate approach to find out the quantities. And for this, there are two methods and uh, these are called the long wall, short wall method. That's the first method. And the other is called the center line method. So in today's video, we will be discussing about the long wall short wall method. So we come to the end of today's video lesson. In today's video lesson, we learned about how to take quantities of various items in a building using long wall short wall method. We found how this was more accurate than uh, merely taking the perimeter dimensions. And we also found that, uh, or we learned that uh, in order to find the quantities using long wall short wall method, we need to first locate the central line of the building and all the references are made from the, from the center line.